Hi everyone, my name is Rahel Machahid and in this video we will discuss about AZ400. So basically AZ400 is a certified uh, Azure DevOps engineer, right? So we will discuss what kind of prerequisite you have to complete before going for this particular examination. So of course there are some prerequisite in the form of some examination. So I mean uh, we have two certification uh, whether you want to go for the first one or second one it's the same thing but yes you have to at least complete one certification if you want to go for the AZ400 examination okay so what are the certification we will discuss in this particular video so if you haven't subscribed the channel make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon because i keep on uploading the videos on microsoft certification and how you can start your microsoft as your journey so let's do it Okay, so as I already mentioned, we'll be talking about a Z400 examination. Basically, it's a certified DevOps engineer examination. So if you are thinking to uh, crack the certification, then of course you have to complete at least one certification. Basically, we are having two choices. So uh, from these two certification, you have to complete at least one certification, right? So basically, first of all, we are having a Z104 or you can say a Z103. A Z103 is the previous version. Then right now we are having a Z104. Since I'm just uh, uh, making this video on March 2021. So yes, right now we are having a Z104. A Z104 is what it's all about certified as your administrator right so first of all you have to complete the certification so if you want to know about the questions and the topics that you know you have to cover uh, in az104 so i have a separate video for the same you can just check out on my channel so if you are uh, familiar with the admin task if you are familiar with the um, azure active directory user management and uh, uh, a little bit about Power, powershell and cli and cloud shell you can just uh, go with the az104 the moment you pass out with az104 then yes now you can go for the az400 examination right it is the first thing or we can say the first way second way is that if you don't want to go into the admin task and uh, so we have second certification as well that is the az204 that is the developer level examination so if you want to uh, go for the az400 then yes you have another option as well in the form of az204 so basically uh, previously again it was a 203 az203 but right now in march 2021 it is a az204 so you have to crack this certification if you want to go for az400 examination so just to uh, summarize the complete video uh, you don't have to complete both of the certification that is az104 and az204 you have to just complete one if you have already cracked az104 then yes you can go for the az400 in other hand if you have if you have already completed az204 then yes you can go for the az400 right if you want to crack both certification then that is completely fine but yes only one certification is needed as a prerequisite for a z400 examination right so no matter if you complete a z104 or if you have completed a z204 if you crack out uh, one of them then yes you are eligible for the a z400 examination that is a certified devops engineer and uh, in the next video we'll be talking about the content of az400 and how i just crack this particular examination so i'll be sharing my video uh, in next uh, two or three days so wait for that and if you haven't subscribed the channel then make sure you do that because i'll be keep uploading the videos on azure certification and aws certification thank you so much for watching